Baba gang, welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE 2K23. My rise as the lock. Link to the previous episode at the top right hand of your screen if you haven't yet watched it. It was pretty cool. Uh, so. What we shall be doing today is we shall be taking care of a couple of storylines. We have like six more storylines left to go including the story get that is but now we shall be starting off right here with tavish uh his side story so so let's see what the side story will also have Okay, so apparently we're just gonna have to imagine uh Tavish in a past match. So uh anyway, the monarchy confirmed story we get uh, ten upgrade points and we get Jean Paul Levesque. So apparently this is probably gonna be one of those uh, stupid things we normally do in all WWE games where you take a flash from the past and you uh go through the memories of older well, they make you fight in the older matches, match styles that were happening, like in the WCW days. But, you know, uh, it's not a real fight because it's literally your character imagining it or dreaming it, as you can quite clearly see. Now, the good thing about this is I'm pretty sure it's going to be a one, it's going to be a one match thing. It's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Leeds, England, weighing in at 238 pounds, Tavish. For a man of his maturity, Tavish doesn't look too bad in his original gear. There's hope for us veterans yet. Yeah, as I said, it's Tavish probably going to be a one match thing. OG threads. Give that off right as heck, mate. So we're gonna be facing Jean something Lavesque. I've already forgotten his middle name. Don't judge this book by its cover. Jean Paul Lavesque is here to find his opponent. Oh Lord. Weighing in at 260 pounds. That's Triple H. It's usually champagne problems for Jean Paul Lavesque, but not tonight. No. Actually speaking, that's Triple H. Against this opponent. I remember. I remember those as. I remember seeing a dog on his debut and he was up basically pretending to be some battler or something. This is him. Alright, that's it. Good lord. Yeah, yeah kinda makes me feel bad about not wanting to be the lock. Ha, <laughs> psych. Stupid monarch, stupid outfit. Yeah. Not gonna take it back. Forget proper etiquette, it's time for Jean Paul Levesque to get his hands dirty. Yeah, I'm not taking it back. All stupid. The outfit, the name, the moniker, everything. Anyway, I'm done. Hello, WCW, and welcome to what's sure to be a night that will definitely never be. I don't like playing as Tavish. Tavish sucks. I'm not even gonna lie, Tavish sucks. He's so old, he's so slow, and it just sucks. Yeah, so this match is not gonna be a favorite one of mine. But we're gonna keep trying our best. Saw that coming. Uh, this guy, as you guys know, he, this is Triple H. As I said repeatedly. Retaliation from Jean Paul. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. I'm just gonna do my best to try and stop him from doing any damage on me. Which doesn't seem to be working. 
absolute master class. Oh, the Beck avoids contact. I'm not so sure if we can even win this. If if I fail, I'm just gonna quit it. Because oh god, facing fighting off a starfish just sucks. With a neck and a gun and big time uppercut. Firm control. Nasty kick to the face. He's turning the tables. I mean, look at that, like. The, uh, the fights that Triple H are, the hits that Triple H are giving me are doing so much damage to my stamina and resiliency, and like it's insane. It. And whatever I'm doing to him does not even seem to he be changing count. anything. Arm ringer applied. Oh, for a European arm breaker. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Retaliation. Really? Okay, tell me reverse it, please. Thank you, game. Just turn that around. These reversals are going to be my best friends because I don't see myself being able to beat him on a normal situation. Huh. Interesting. the count at two and you gotta think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time and he goes into the ring take him out of the mat oh wicked kick to the lower back and Tavish has earned the upper hand here there's incredible impact with every maneuver Tavish delivers oh fucking hell Oh, damn it. What? He catches Lovec with a big counter. Whoa! Oh, Lord. Held in a perilous position. I see why I do not enjoy doing this as him. Dude is so slow, it's insane. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fujiwara arm bar applied. Good lord. to sacrifice the built up stuff the build up signature I was getting oh, rear chin lock and now just rapid fire punches and there's the takedown retaliation oh lord fine He's turned that one around. He turns Good up. Lord. Oh, Forcefully delivered. Look at this just he may get the three count right here. I think so. He's able to beat a two count. He's still got more left in the tank. I literally have no reversal, finally. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Here we're gonna reverse it again. Oh no, he doesn't. Don Paul's on Dream Street. He's gonna use his resilience, probably. They're still in this. The bat was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. When you're a punk. Oh god, what the hell? With a big time move. What the hell? Two count. No, he's What the hell? 
What the hell? Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. That was just stupid by the game. Really don't like this at all. And a carefully measured knee drop. Like at all. Oh, let go. Back elbow blows that one up. Nice takedown. Don't kick out of this, please. There we go. There we go. Here is your winner, Tevis. And nothing to scoff at for that one, gentlemen. They got it done. Major setback here tonight for the up and coming Jean Paul Levesque. I have a funny feeling he'll be just fine in the long run. Yeah, turned out to be Triple H. Did not matter. But yeah. That was one of the very most ignorant way to start a match, uh, to start an episode as well, but you know. Uh, we had just had to do the Monarch part of the storyline so that we could get it done. Uh, I hope it's just a one-time... Don't tell me it's not a one-time thing. Because I'm gonna be pissed off. And I'm never gonna try one of those things ever again. Heck of a match, right? <laughs> How'd it turn out? It took you having the performance of your lifetime, but you got the W. Damn right I did. <laughs> this all got me thinking. What if you and no, I tagged no, together no, against no. Jean-Paul Levesque and another no. legendary superstar like British Bulldog? I Can no. you imagine no, what please, we could have done no. together? Yeah. I can certainly try to. Savish, no. No, no, this is what you do. This is what you get for trying to play all the scenarios. This is what you get for trying to play the scenarios. Okay, uh, you guys have seen how hard it was to play a Starvish and how incredibly annoying it is to try and move around like him. So, uh, because now me and Tavish have to tag team in this match, he's not gonna participate. I'm just gonna isolate and dominate using my character at the very least. I think that's gonna help us complete this much up much faster uh the necessary they are ready for battle i'm trying to skip this yeah so at least at the very least i'm gonna try <laughs> at least at the very least awesome buzz uh welcome back to wcw yeah, I'm, I'm gonna i'm just simply gonna I'm simply gonna isolate. John Paul Levesque and the British Bulldog representing the Union Jack facing off against the always outspoken Tavish and his mystery partner who I can't seem to place. Also, why are we calling it a WCW match? Um, yeah. It's locked in. This is a great way to how do you escape the abdominal stretch like that. Feels good. Feels good to actually be playing with my character again. He's absorbed some damage already. Yeah, even though he's still got a lot of fight in him, he might want to make a tag now. Side. Sequence of reversals there. Psych. And another counter. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? Oh no. Can he score? Why am I getting so much? Damage, He's able to kick and I'm the one who's been doing more damage to Triple H. It's weird. Reaches his partner for the tag. Yeah. Right, let's do this, Bulldog. 
Hoist it up. Blockbuster. I am not tagging Tavishin. Gonna, it's just gonna have to be a two versus one uh, handicap match. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Oh. Right, What's he gonna do here? Foot DDT! He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh, no. Yeah, Davy Boy is having trouble fighting back. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Nope. Oh, what a man, Rana. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Man, the Bulldog actually also has a increased uh, resiliency. Now that I see it. Oh, and Bulldog fights back. Bulldog might be able to start mounting something here. Psych. Psych. could be turning his fortunes around. Psych. Bulldog's attack gets reversed. Oh, I would have dominated the WCW. And dangerous with his offense. Good Lord. Yeah, he has planted himself in the driver's seat. He has just completely lost his wind. This has just been an absolute massacre. Why are we rolling out? We should be dominating this bulldog guy. And anyway, it's fine. Uh, it's time to continuously take on Jean-Paul Triple H Lavesque, whatever his name is. Oh my god! Springboard Moonsault! Wow! Good. Rolling out the ring does not keep you safe from me. But you had to learn anyway, just like anybody else. And living dangerously. Catching Levesque off guard. Oh, face first. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Ducks through. Up and over. Salida del Sol. And gets tossed back into the mat. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Come on, wake up, dude. Wake up. Closing in. From the top. Tremendous drop kick. He is getting shredded apart. Yeah, I'm actually going to let you tug. Tag is made, and here we go. Running Hurricane Rana. And he's out of there. And it's back in here. A rope step to the outside. Tope Conhilo. You do not mess with me. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. You do not mess with me like that. Oh, he's Hold on, might be able to start mounting something here. Davy Boy could be turning his fortunes around. Oh, please. please. This guy, this guy cannot handle me. This dude cannot handle me. Stand by. Here we go. Super that could put Davy Boy down for good. He stops the count for his partner. Excuse me, Tavish. Last second oh, need to face there. Yeah, he's getting some newly determined focus. Oh, no. Sight. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. Does he have him here? Uh, please use your resiliency. Kicks out. He did not. He did not. Interesting. And Davy Boy reverses. Hold on, might be able to start mounting something. Davy Boy could be turning his fortunes around. I mean, what fortunes around? Please. Please. Kicks to the face. Kicked off with a big one. Close line. Off with their head. And Davy Boy can't stop any offense coming his way. Yeah, Davy Boy is having trouble fighting back. And more.
attacks up there could leave him stunned. Each blow affecting his equilibrium. Hedge will it. And down! Ooh. He's used, he's used his resiliency now, that's what I wanted. Oh, he tagged out, god damn it. It's fine. Just walk on Triple H then. I was this close to taking out British Bulldog. Psych! Psych! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. And he's just flying his skills now. It's starting to come together in a big way for this guy. Oh no. Ha! Missed. Kick right to the back of the leg. Down in a gut buster. Kick to the midsection. Twist the offense. Yeah. Damn boy. Here we go. Super kick. Super kick. John Paul's on Dream Street. Really? Hold on. Might be able to start mounting some shoulders down. Right. Resiliency used. Let's do this. But they're no avail. He's running into some problems here, guys. Yeah, this floor is proving to be quite the challenge for him here. Down he goes. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid oh, no. of the resources Don't and help I reverse that. Sight. Nice contribution, Tavish. It's what I expect. Please, come on, come on. What a gutsy performance! There is no way that happened. Cover! And he makes the save! There is no way that happened. What's he in for? Lands face first! We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Whoa! I think I know what's about to happen. Super kick! I don't care who you are, you can't survive any more of those. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Ha! 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 Match fixing works in our favor. Finally. And teamwork makes the dream work. Finally. In this tag team victory. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again. We finally have some match fixing. So let's see what else we can do in this uh, episode. I'm pretty hopeful that we do not have to uh, fight another thing in Tavish's storied mind. Thank you. Uh, we receive Jean-Paul Levesque. Uh, if you check uh, socials. Yeah. <laughs> So Tavish lied, it was him who wanted to give a fan an autograph.
interesting. Anyway, we are now on 95 overall. Uh, of course, we have Tom's storyline. If you check our story progress, you only have this left. So we're gonna do cut and mouse, which is currently in our DMs right now. So let's get it started, shall we? Okay, so we're just gonna help with uh, we're gonna help her get some uh what's it called we're gonna get help her get some footage for her docu series so cut and mouse so this is the next storyline that we shall be doing and then once it's done we shall do the one-off matches which are gonna lead to us completing uh the side stories left in the in this section of the story and then we're gonna do the two main story parts left and call it a pretty cool fun episode and i'm pretty i'm pretty psyched and i'm pretty stoked to see where the episodes take us to to be honest uh why did the camera burn like that for or is that a docu-series type of thing well, i don't know Anyway, let's just see. Uh, who's Adrian Buck? That's Adrian Buck. Interesting. Alright. Time for me to destroy Mr. Adrian Buck. Let's get this on the road, shall we? I do not have to win the match. He just says attempt to win it, but... You guys know me. Yeah, an attempt to win the match is the same as telling me go out there and doing the match. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Against Mr. Adrian Buck. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Beautiful moonsault. Nice kick in the back means he's gonna be stunned. Terminal plant, nicely done. Oh yeah, this match is gonna be easy. This is not gonna stand a chance against us. As you guys can quite clearly see. Adrian, it doesn't matter how far you try and run away, you're never safe from me. As long as I'm anywhere in your vicinity, you're not safe. Man, I have been a regular fixture at Los Angeles Wrestling. This is probably my new home. It's my brand. Plus, you know, WWE does not have a live band set. So, you know. Los Angeles Wrestling is way better. The numbers speak for itself. Hmm. Ah, sure. Let's try the finisher. Why not? Wait, I can't. Why can't I do a finisher on him? Oh, great. Wow, Adrian. Awesome stuff, mate. Big fan of your work. Adrian back, Adrian back, Adrian back. Man, I'm so sorry. You should blame Kat for putting you up to this because, man. How did he reverse that? Reverse it again. Nice, dude. Oh, 
nicely done, Adrian. Big fan of your work. Sure thing, game. Sure thing. Sure thing. Alright, let's finish this, shall we? Kinda done with Mr. Adrian over here. Light work. There we go, done. Uh, looking at how the other sub lot uh, storyline went, I don't think that's the last we've seen of Kat wanting us to help her shoot some footage. For her doggy series so let's see what else she'll want us to do in service of helping her get some footage yeah it was an incredible match etc etc all right i'm seeing a lot of people want to be part of her next thing Alright, so apparently we're gonna be having a battle royale. And okay, so apparently we'll all be competing in a battle royale to see who gets a uh, a feature in Cat's next film. So uh winner gets the feature film. Personally speaking, I couldn't care less about the feature film. I just want to beat some competitors of mine like i always do so that's what we shall be doing um not so sure about anything else but uh, no, we're not we're not about to watch six people enter a ring uh, that's not happening uh see adrian back is there i see this big dude is there i see that guy is there and i see this guy is there and that's everybody so uh i need to win the battle royal somehow uh, the hope is that i actually can i'm gonna try to win uh, The goal is to pick out one guy and uh good focus on one guy you can't win the rumble by trying to fight everyone you idiot and just like that i'm pissed off so i'm actually gonna take you out first uh -uh. Uh, have... i fucking swear i fucking swear i fucking swear it's actually time I just eliminated some idiots. is becoming too much for me we need to see people get eliminated please okay stop it i do not need everyone attacking me at the same time <laughs> one guy is out Yikes. what a move I 
know, this seems like a pretty good place to relax. Calm down, let things uh, simmer out a bit. guy is out. Interesting. Hell are you trying? Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. Really pissing me off, dude. So I'm gonna actually have to eliminate. Okay, I guess not. Okay. We're down to three, and I have done absolutely nothing in this matchup. Not that I care, to be honest. You gotta be in it to win it, and you're still in it. So that means we can win it. No. Okay. 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 This is what's happening now. Huh? Made it to the final two. Gotta love it. Hi. And we won the battle royal, so you know. That was easy. Not gonna lie. Literally had to do nothing to win. Not that I'm complaining. Anyway, there we go. Let's see what else uh uh cut has for us to do or if anything maybe we are done with this storyline and that would be the best if possible that we are done i'd be much happier with that but you know let's just wait and see we may be done we may not be done you never know but the hope is that we actually are done so that we don't have no we are done nice all right cut and mouse storyline has been complete All right. I'm not so sure if this is it. Uh, if I check the story progress, is it done? Yeah, it actually is. All right. Uh, we don't have much else to do, so the next part is going to be dealing with Tom's part of the storyline. All right, let's get this part on the road, shall we? Hey, I'm actually happy to run into you. WWE's having me cut together a greatest WWE Rise and Falls video package featuring you, which I kind of feel bad about. I've got all your footage from your so-called fall, but if you get Cat to get some shots of you dominating your next match, I can try and make it into a Rise and Fall and Rise package. Okay, now we go and do this part of the next storyline. And we'll have one more one of March left. And then it will just be the two main story parts, which we shall also be completing in this one episode. So, yeah. Well, hopefully, anyway. Um, I, I don't want to guarantee something that we not that we might not be able to... Uh, what's it called? 
that you might not be actually able to deliver because if you say you're gonna do something special to deliver. Uh, where are we? Actually, so don't care. Just bring the opponents out so that I can destroy them. That's all I want to do. Okay, this is that dude again and the El Majo Jr. I'll still be pissed off that I... Why is he fighting the ref? Why is dude fighting the ref? What did the ref do to you? Nice. need to get one person to be taken up. Okay. Seems like I'm the big target of everyone's aggression. I don't have to win it, it says attempts to win, but I'm still gonna try win it regardless. What a move! I don't care how many of you try to double team me, I'm not letting you guys beat me. Really? Are you actually double teaming me? Okay. Just for that, I'm actually gonna hit a double finish on both of you. Just for that. What is up? What is up? Oh no. Oh no. Dude, come on, that is far from enough damage done on me. Just out here having fun, destroying my opponents. Okay, so this dude is El Ordinario. Judging by the amount of stamina I'm taking away from him. And the other one is the one that is El Maho Jr. Yeah, dude, you picked the wrong guy to pin. I really think you can hit me that yeah, huh? Okay. 
got the glitch. I have to send in that glitch. It's pretty insane that you actually have such a glitch. finishing move okay okay stop it Come on, let's do this. I'm done. Light rock. Don't you guys think so? Extremely light rock. That was some extreme light rock action, if I do say so myself. But yeah, gave the fans what they wanted and we are done with that. So, uh, we do not really have anything else left. I mean, there is a, another one of matchup that should become available, but if it isn't, uh, we only have a hairy situation story and the main story get stealing the show to go. And yeah, it is Adam Pierce has arrived with it. So, uh, on the socials, all right, so. Uh, all right so now uh, we, do we have enough to upgrade yes we do we are 96 overall all right so uh we could start yeah, let's just do a dump is uh part of it and hey i've noticed you've been it. making quite a name for yourself out there as someone who came up outside of wwe i respect the hustle and if you're trying to get attention might want to consider spicing up your matches. In fact, I have a friend who wants to have a steel cage match at their next event. If you're interested, I can make a call. All right, let's go. Uh, deal. Let's go. Have, uh, let's go take part in this steel cage matchup. Apparently, we get an eight percent increase in our durability, which is gonna go a long way in helping us uh, handle so many other matches that we might be uh, taking part in. So, uh I'm not gonna lie to you guys, uh, we shall do the first part of uh, the story part. After this one, we shall only do one match in the next part. And then, uh, the next episode will be pure own story mode because looking at our recording timings and everything, uh, it, should be, it should be something that we try at the very least, get it. Uh, we do not want to have super long as episodes as well, as you guys know. Okay, let's beat up this tiny ass human being called Kyle Slickman. Dude thinks it's cool to wrestle in headphones and sunglasses and a gold chain, a gold watch. <laughs> not bad. Psych! 
This is like me taking a request from a fan who wants to wrestle me. I could literally climb the cage right now and win this match. Oh no, I have to win by pinfall or submission. Okay. I almost started climbing out the cage. <laughs> you see, this is why you should always read the instructions before you do anything, guys. Can't you win by pinfall or submission is the name of the game. Oh no. Nicely done. Push him right there. Oh no. Lord. Oh, there are the fans making the count. That feels like something very tragic. Psych! Alright, uh, Kyle Slickman, it's time that you said goodnight. It's time you said goodnight, Mr. Kyle Slickman, like, seriously. Good night. I'm impressed you could actually kick out for my finisher. Very interesting. Interesting. Very interesting to be honest. Bad. Not bad. He tried. Not bad. Okay. That is every little side story there ever was to do in this section of Beyond the Borders. Wrestling Borders. Something Borders. I'm not even sure about the storyline, but that was literally every single objective that could have been done that we've done. And as you guys can see in our story progression, we literally only have a hairy situation and stealing the show uh, left. Uh, on the socials, yeah. There we go. And now, without further ado, story time. I have another big opportunity for you to generate some buzz in a different part of the world. I'm gonna have to start paying you commission. What are you thinking? 25%, 30 or maybe 20% plus a cut of all future royalties? <laughs> I was kidding. Right. Me too. Anyway, I can get you on a show in Mexico teaming up with Hector Flores. WWE sending him to Lucha Magica for a special appearance and the local promoters are looking for a hot commodity to team up with him. Okay, let's go do it. I don't really cross paths with Hector much when I was in WWE, but I've heard he's a good guy. And if not, well, at least there will be some good exposure. But I'll do it. All right. And the flight's on you, since, you know, 
I'm not getting paid for any of this. All right, so I had a situation. We get 15 max upgrade points and we get the men's Latino heat vest and the Mexico Plaza. So uh, this is going to be the next part of the major storyline event before we enter the story gate. Now, I'm not even going to lie. The story gate is probably going to be in the next episode. But as for now, uh, we shall do the first part of uh, the story. Didn't line. know you were going to be here too. Ah, uh, same. I had enough of you after the Apex tournament. Oh, chosen. Thought I could be look free for a while. Don't call me that. I swear. Okay. Look. Good. Gentlemen, you're going to have to learn to get along better since you'll be teaming together tonight. What? I thought you said Hector Flores was my partner. Hector is your partner. Both of yours. It's a trios match. You know, Lucha Libre tradition. You gotta stop doing stuff like this, Tavish. I knew you'd throw a tantrum and not want to do it, which is why I didn't tell you. So I'll stop doing this stuff when you learn how to get outside of your comfort zone. Are you two done yet? I don't want to do this either, but I'm not over here crying about it with a weird old Lesra who follows me around everywhere I go. Haha, <laughs> burn. Okay, I see your point about him. But it's too late to change the match. Just put your issues aside and work together. You don't have to be best mates or anything. Deal? It will be good content for my socials, I guess. So, I'll do it. <sighs> Fine. But just this one match. That's it. You guys already know it's not gonna be just one match, right? Um, anyway, uh, it's gonna be a trios match, uh, Lucha Libre style. Apparently, that's the tradition. You have to do it in trios, so you know, uh, something to do. Uh, upgrade points. We only have nine left, so let's speak to Hector Flores. Hey, Hector! I was happy to be teaming with you down here, until I found out we were also teaming with Chosen. It will be fine. I've known Chosen for a while. He can certainly rub people the wrong way, but he means well. Well, I'm willing to give it a shot. Maybe you're right. I'm willing to give this a shot if you are, I guess. But enough about Chosen. What have you been up to lately? It's been an interesting time for me in WWE. I turned down the chance to join Los Lotharios, and they've been messing with me ever since. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Faction trouble. I had my fair share of that in WWE too. You're better off on your own. Yeah, in this case at least. Anyway, I'm happy to see you doing so well now. I had heard you were having a hard time after WWE. Someone said you got into a fight with Sami Zayn at a video game shoot? Did not happen. <sighs> yeah, that, did that not happened. Happen. But it's all my past, and like you said, things are going well now. So let's keep the positive momentum going and get the W tonight. Thanks. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Alright, so uh, we shall do this one much and then call it an episode. Uh, we shall be... We shall be doing this one much, call it a nice episode. And then in the next one, we shall go and finish off the rest of this part of the storyline. And then also the next one, which is the next story get leading to the next part of the story as well. So it should be fun. I'm actually kind of excited to see where all this leads to, uh, especially in our journeys and trials to well, at this point, make ourselves an awesome wrestler all over the world. The person is speaking. Uh, WWE stands for World Wrestling Entertainment. What do you know? Let's see. Hector. I just want to skip all these entrances to be honest because we are not really at a major point in our story it's like we are in the middle of a market place like in a shopping mall or something <laughs> in the trio's match, okay 
perfecto. So you guys know my you guys know my uh, reservations that I have when it comes to trios matches. It's always a bit tougher because I have to deal with three variables instead of two. I'm uh, not saying that dealing with two variables is easy, but you know it's more manageable than dealing with three variables. Because if I was to get to a point, I'd have to take out uh, Paul Queen and El Ordinario on the outside to make sure that they do not interfere with me. Uh, trying to pin or uh, trying to pin or to get El Maho Jr. Uh, to tap out. Uh, but the plan of attack remains the same. Isolate and dominate. Isolate and dominate. It's easier to do this if you can just make sure that one of their guys does not tag out do as much damage to them as you can to the point that you have to make them uh, to the point that you can't beat them and yeah once that's done you're golden that's in point so uh, if we can hit this finisher we'll just have to take out the rest of his top team partners and we have so he's out and he's out really Why are you guys my tag partners? Honestly. What's the point of having you guys as tag partners if you do not help me? And I'm trying to make a very clear submission attempt. Like what's the point? Oh, he reversed it. Interesting. That was that was it, that was it, that's what I wanted. I actually wanted to pin him. Oh lord, why are you rolling out? He's gonna tag out easy. Good lord. Oh lord, why, 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 why? Maybe I should just concentrate on taking him out once and for all. And then... Uh, and then after that... Let's try taking him out first and then... Okay, he's not gonna move for a while. No ref, I was told rope, rope breaks don't matter.
I specifically told drop breaks don't matter. Honestly guys, you are my teammates. Do something. Wow, oh, for my teammates you guys suck. Oh lord, he's tugging out. He's not. High frames, bitch. Oh no, there's no way I did not reverse that. There is no way I did not reverse that. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I have no reverses left. I mean, look at that. Like, this is the this is the uncertainty I've never liked with trios matches. No, I'm not tagging any of you in. It did not help me when I was trying to get these guys and I was trying to get you to you could have stopped these guys from interfering with the matchup but you didn't I'm not tagging any of you now I have to start damaging somebody new Look at that, I have to start damaging a whole new dude. Because you guys thought it wasn't important enough to stop them from interfering with the match. This is all on you. All on you. Anyway, I have three finishers on deck. We have three good finishers on deck. Which makes me so happy. And down we go. No. Oh my god, you are stunned. Means you cannot, absolutely cannot reverse this. Good lord. I'm telling you guys, trios matches suck for this re just for this one specific reason. This is why I do not like them. There is no way I did not reverse that. There is absolutely no way I did not reverse that. Why are you rolling out, dude? Good lord. from him just for just for the shits and giggles oh that's his whole finish okay it's fine oh fucking hell good lord game honestly guys why are you my teammates if you're not helping me I'll be done with this Game match by now. What 
better not kick out. And there we go. Thanks, Chosen. I assume you are there to make sure nobody interfered. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is where we're going to say... Uh, this is where we're going to stop for this matchup. For this episode, actually. And then in the next episode, we shall pick it up exactly from here. And just push all the way through the next part of the story as it should be so uh do we have a lot left to do yeah probably but we are still on the right track towards uh finishing this up yeah, everybody me and the team everybody is happy that we got the w you gotta love it oh no oh no Cells attacked you guys. God damn it. Wow, these are WWE wrestlers actually. God damn. Well, it seems like we're gonna be in a beef of some sorts, but you know, when are we ever not in a beef of sorts? So, until then, uh, at least we can stop at this point, and then the next episode we shall proceed on. So apparently we're gonna be in a hair versus mask challenge. Okay. Right, so uh this is where we shall be starting off in the next one. It should be fun as you guys can see our uh, our story progress. We are still do doing a hairy situation, but it's going to be the hair versus mask matchup as what you see in the social media. And then we shall be going to steal in the show, which will be ending the new something all border anyway uh, always on legend difficulty as per usual so we're gonna be ending it here so stay safe be smart be kind uh tell somebody love them today and i shall catch you all in the next episode bye guys <laughs>